So, uh, motor fix rev two. I'm making this rail out because I can't find a belt short enough at this uh, this belt size to uh, put it all on top. So I'm going to be extending it out and putting it over here and using this shorter belt here, which I can pick up. It's a uh, 15 inch belt and uh, we'll see how that works out for me. This belt's pretty stiff. I've ordered a different one that's uh, that's also there, but this one is a, uh, it says 4LK 270. So it says 27 inch. Um, which obviously you can get smaller than that, and I've ordered a smaller one. We'll see what that comes in. Um, but uh, obviously this doesn't work because this moves up and down, and then this moves at an angle. So that's just not going to work out um, for, for doing a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, I did modify the drawbar here. Um, so this drawbar actually isn't the original drawbar. I just got a, a threaded rod. I welded on a uh, a uh, three quarter inch uh, adapter for it, screwed it on, then welded it, and then that's actually what's running all this on the drawbar. So, anyway, very smooth operation. I'm really pleased with it. Let's go ahead and keep uh, doing this. So I just wanted to show this. This is pretty phenomenal. It's 120 uh, cut rate, 120 feet rate, doing one millimeter cut. So again, that's speed rate of 120 on a mini mill. Central machining mini mill, micro mill. Cutting through one millimeter of material at 120 millimeters per minute. So here's my new high powered rig in action.
Black Hood.